Well, the first round of the NCAA tournament is Thursday, so that means if you haven't filled out your bracket yet, now is the time. Of course, every year millions of people fill out those brackets, but no one has ever gotten a perfect bracket. Amanda Quintana is here with how a UW engineer is using data and math to make her predictions, Amanda. Yes, well, millions of people are filling out their brackets, all going at it a little bit of a different way. Some choosing on a feeling. I heard about one woman who just goes off of which mascot would win in a fight. Everyone has their own way of choosing the winner. I filled it out in like five minutes, to be honest. Yeah, it was, it was a quick one. Trent Peters-Clark goes with his gut when filling out his bracket, but one first-round pick was a little difficult for the UW-Madison grad student who got his undergrad at Oregon. That was a tough first-round matchup for sure, but uh, had to go with the undergrad on that one. Many people, like him, rely on a feeling or luck, trying to predict the national champion. Yeah, went with some of the favorites, and then definitely you got to do the 12-5 up upsets every now and then. But in Industrial and systems engineer Laura Albert depends on math. I'm still filling out my bracket. I'm still doing my research. I've just been crunching all the numbers, and that's a lot of fun. She really collects data mind. all season, scores, wins, and losses, ranking the teams week to week, all based on the numbers. It's amazing that the math can tell us with a high degree of accuracy who the best teams are without a lot of data points. But it's not just about what the teams have done in the past, it's what they can do in the future. So as an engineer, I, at the end of the day, I want to take this all one step further, and I want to turn that data and information into a decision. And how would I actually design a system and engineer a better system and solve a problem in the future? This same mathematical model, helping Albert rank the teams, can be applied to applications looking at the stock market, the spread of diseases, her research waiting in lines at healthcare systems and for emergency responders, gathering data to make a difference. Sports analytics is a great... It's a great preparation for solving all those other data-driven engineering problems. Trent Almost trusting his yes. strategy. Yeah. After all, even Albert says math can help you make informed decisions, but it can only go so far, then comes luck. I tend not to be super critical of my choices, but once I, once I choose them, I back them. Albert says she starts by filling out her Final Four and Elite Eight, and her data has Duke as number one, Michigan State, Gonzaga, and Virginia also on top. But she says if everyone else in her pool is picking Duke, she's leaning away from having them as her winner in her bracket. All right. Good luck to everybody filling out those brackets. Amanda, thank you. And there's more to come on News 3 Now at 5. President